All right. What's going on guys? Uh, long time no see. I know it's been a couple weeks, over a month now since I've last posted a size from the contest video, but we are back and we are back with a very special food challenge. One that I'm very fond of, the Do It At Home series. So if you don't recall, last time we did this food challenge, we did it with McDonald's. It was four Big Macs, our order of fries around it, and the milkshake. So I think the one thing I just remembered about it, the one thing I forgot was the pickles, but we'll be all right. It's not super important. Only one thing. You forgot the pickles! <gasps> so based on the thumbnail and the title of this video, you already know today we are doing this challenge with in and out So for those who have never had in and out before, um, my personal opinion about it is it's all right. It's, it's not as great as people make it out to be, uh, but that's just my opinion. The one thing I do love about in and out is the presentation. For example, here we have our burgers, which are looking pretty good. Um, I want to say they're a little bit bigger than the Big Macs. Then here we have our milkshakes and then we have two extra drinks just in case we don't have to finish these. And then we have our fries in here. I think the thing about the fries is that they're so, I don't know, like, I feel like I could grab one and they're all gonna come up with it. I think that's what it is. Like they don't just like all fall apart. So let's start building this thing. Okay, here we go. Final burger of our burger tower, which is kind of ironic because I'm literally going to pull these skewers out as soon as I start. See, this is exactly what I meant. Like they all fall apart or they all fall together. Like it's nothing like they fall apart. It's all just one giant bunch and it bothers me. Oh, we almost lost our burgers right there. Right, and then we got our Fat Tuesdays that we brought from Las Vegas, so perfect for our milkshake. Ah! There he goes again. All right guys, so we're fresh off a hot win over in Mexico. So the mentality right now is to finish this as fast as humanly possible, which it already was. All right guys, so here we go in five, Four, three, two, one. Yeah, go. All right, first burger. Alright guys, halfway with the burgers. They're, they actually taste a lot better than what I remember, so might have to change my opinion on the end of now. But here we go. Two burgers down, two to go.
burger done. Dude, I have like a burp and it just does not want to come out. There we go. A little bit better. Burgers and fries are done. Final thing, we have our milkshake. Ah, time, tiempo. <coughs> Kelly, what are you doing? Ah. That wasn't so bad. That was actually a lot easier than I anticipated. Maybe because last time I did it with the McDonald's, I wasn't training. So... Maybe now that I'm a little bit more in shape, it just, I don't know, it, it definitely felt a lot easier. I know the fries went down a lot quicker, even though I hate the way they are, but like the fact that you're able to grab them all at the same time, it definitely helped go a lot faster. Like normally when you're grabbing fries, like they just fall out on your hands. So like you have to like re-grab them, try to eat them, re-grab them, try to eat them, re-grab them, try to eat them. And it's, it's just a whole mess, but this is definitely a lot easier. I'm not 100% sure on how long we took, but obviously time is gonna be up here for you guys. So. Hopefully we beat our last time that beat the original time. So it just means we're progressing a little bit. Obviously the food's not the same, so it definitely, it might just make it a little bit easier, but I like to think that we're getting better. So yeah, um, but that is gonna be it for the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry I've been gone for a little bit. Um, but other than that guys, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe and catch you guys in the next video. Peace.